Hey, and welcome back, everybody, to the third part of the One City Challenge, where we last left off. We just got writing, and we've met our neighbors, which are the Swedish and the Danish. So, two very peaceful neighbors, actually. I'm pretty happy about this. Swedish are a little bit more militaristic than the uh, Danish, and the Swedish are closer. However, the Swedish, uh, they think that uh, we own, that they own this land. That's not good. Uh, the Swedish, actually, uh, they get bonuses for having uh, declarations of friendship, so they're more wow, willing cool. to do declarations of friendship. Oh, they don't have writing we'll yet. Okay. Once they, have, once they have the ability to write, I want to establish an embassy with them because it makes them more happy. Like we have with uh, William there. We have an, uh, they have an, uh, an embassy in our capital, so they're happy about that. Also, got to thinking. Oh, Lord Kamehameha of the Polynesian Empire, which the Polynesian Empire does not exist, by the way. I'm fairly sure they're supposed to be either Hawaii or Samoa. Kamehameha was Hawaiian, so. And here comes the flood of Dragon Ball Z comments, as I let's play like five of those games. Yeah, uh, Polynesian Empire, one of my favorite teams in the game. Super fun, but I'm worried because he's the most militaristic guy we've met so far. And it looks like he is on our continent. He founded Samoa here, which means he's expanding. They start with the ability to embark, you see, so he's, his capital's probably on a different continent. Okay. Let's check the demographics real quick and see what's going on. Heist population... Polynesia. Crop yield Polynesia. Well, yeah, those two usually go hand in hand. Highest production is Sweden. Most land is, uh, is Polynesia. We have... We're not the most literate, but we're getting there. The most illiterate, which means, like, the least science, basically, and doesn't know writing, is, um, Sweden. Since we're only ranked sixth in literacy... I'm guessing most people are tied with 9. And we're doing the worst for approval, surprisingly. And uh, I, I doubt you know how to write already. Nope. Alright. You're friendly, though, which is better than I can say for the other guys. Let's get this episode going. Now, we're healing our spearmen real quick. Do we have any other barbarians that we've spotted? that are particularly close. I have a feeling there's some over there, so we are gonna scout over there at some point. Okay, we've got the silver done. As you can see, the happiness is up by another four because of that, and you lose one happiness every time the city grows bigger in population. And you see, Sweden already wants a declaration of friendship. Now, to be extra clear about what his bonus is, for every declaration of friendship he has, he gets great people 10% faster. And I believe that bonus might carry over to us as well. I'm not entirely sure if they changed that or not from the earlier patches. But regardless of whether I get the bonus or not, I will say yes, because he's adjacent to me and I don't want a war with him. And if we have a declaration of friendship and then he were to go to war with me, it would make the other countries trust him a lot less and be more willing to help me in the war. Mean van. He's asking for a gift of 30 gold? Sure. That's, uh, that's not so bad. All right, what I wanted to do before, though. Thou shalt not muzzle the ox when he treadeth out the corn. Uh, I have some gold built up. And I'd like to purchase a shrine. I should have done that earlier. But we're now getting one faith per turn. All right, it's time to get our fully healed spearmen out there and scouting. I want them to have more promotions in case of the probably inevitable war. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to hold it off for, but I am probably going to have to go to war at some point. So the wheat plantation's been fixed up. Hmm. We are probably going to get those dyes at some point, which means more happiness. March over here. Here we go. We need to take that out. A little straggler up there. The incense, the incense will make our people even more happy. We're demanding salt. Well, let's check real quick. Does anyone else that we know have salt? You have no luxury goods. At least none that I don't already have. You're my friend. 
You've got salt, but you only have one salt, so you're not likely willing to trade it. You have marble and gems, I am Summer. Once I have uh, both incense and I have a surplus, I can start trading that away to get other things. You see, when your people demand something and you give it to them, it, they declare, we love the King Day, which means they have a sudden boom in population growth. It's very important. Whenever you get a chance to do it, you should do it. Especially in a case like this, when we have a lot of surplus happiness, and we don't need to worry. In fact, it's a major goal of ours to make the city as big as it will get. We never want to limit our city size. Classical era... Kamehameha is in classic, which means he probably learned writing. Same with Gustav. Which means, no you don't know writing. Do you know writing? Nope. Weird. Well, whatever, we'll keep going. Okay, I want to be safe with him, I really don't want to lose him. I want him to be well promoted, and we're two turns away from getting the Great Library, which will mean a free technology. We probably should have set it up better, so that the timing of it would get us a really good free technology. But, we didn't- if I waited on the thing at all, I would probably just get killed. So, let's, uh, let's speed up the production of wonders from now on. That's a major, major upgrade. And you would not be able to reach me if I stayed right here. I'm actually going to back off one panel and start on a farm, though. Just so I'm getting something done. Here we go! Libraries are the shrine where all the relics of the ancient saints, full of true virtue, and that without delusion or imposture, are preserved and reposed. I don't like how low his voice is at that part. In fact, can I make speech individually louder? Yes. I'm actually gonna make that a lot louder. Sorry about that. They're gonna raid my silver mine, which will make my people less happy, but it won't go into negative happiness, so it won't be a huge deal. And we can actually rush our way to philosophy, which will get us the ability to get a national college, which is a national wonder, so every so I don't need to rush it. It gets my science uh, up by 50%, which is very major. And also gives us our unique building, Burial Tomb. It's a temple that doesn't require, um... It's a temple that doesn't require gold maintenance. So it's just happiness and faith. That's very, very good. So we're gonna rush philosophy. There is own. And that got us a classical. Now... The Oracle would be really nice. Free social policy. Just great wonder. It gives us a lot of culture. Gives us great scientist points, which are always nice for keeping our, keeping our, um, keeping our technology up to date. Temple of Artemis is also very nice because of the growth rate, but I think that others are already probably working on it. So we're going to start going for the Oracle, although we do have a lot of things to pick from. Like National College, you can see a lot of our advisors are telling us to get. I'm going to rush the Oracle now because I feel like if I wait to get the oracle a little bit later, then other people might beat me to it. Although I do have a big advantage to getting wonders. In that I get them very quickly. Alright, so we have that done. It's time to set up our technologies for the next episode. Actually, you know what? Let's do one more technology this episode. Uh, I'm going to take masonry. So that's another four turns on the episode, which... Admittedly is not much. You can go heal, and you can abandon that farm for now. I need the incense back. Huh. Apparently he's friends with Sweden as well. That's good. I want to make friends with everyone that I can. Uh, you can fortify there. You can go over there to start repairing the fields and the plantation. How happy are those whose walls already rise? See, that's that's a good volume. I like that. Okay, uh, we can clear marshes. We can build quarries, which I don't think we have either of those uh, in our territory. New wonder, which is one that we don't really need to get. It's nice if we get it, but yeah. 
Pyramids are usually a very powerful wonder, uh, where you get two free workers and workers complete their uh, their work 25% faster, but since we're one city, we don't need that. And walls, just straight up defense and health points for your city, that is going to be quite mandatory for us. Since we are, again, inevitably going to be attacked. So, let's set up our technology for the next episode. I want construction next, because the first wonder we really, really want is the Terracotta Army. It's, uh, it's, I believe it's made of clay. It's in, an army of replicas of an entire old Chinese emperor's, uh, army. I don't remember exactly what dynasty this was, but he made, he got people to make clay replicas of his entire army so he could take his army with him into the afterlife. It's six culture, which is a lot, especially for a wonder, and great artist points, and great artists will help us with culture. So we want to get the Terracotta Army, and then after that, I'm thinking we don't need to worry about water tech for quite a while. We go for Drama and Poetry, which will get us the next building that gives us culture. It also gets the National Epic, which we can get early to get a lot more great people. And after that, we're going to do Mathematics to make our way, make our way to Currency. All right. So that's it for this episode. That's what we'll do on the next episode I just explained. And until next time, have a nice day.